This example supports that a company makes and sells X tennis rackets per week and the corresponding revenue function in hundreds of dollars in the form of the Rx equals 20X minus X squared divided by 30, where X is between zero and 600. I'm gonna put a note here, X between zero and 600. Use the R, which is the differential revenue to estimate the approximate change in revenue if the production is part A increase from 150 to 160 rackets and part B increase from 480 to 490 rackets. Kind of the change by 10 rackets, but not at the same beginning production level. So the whole idea of this is to use the differential of revenue to approximate the change in revenue. And the change in revenue means revenue two minus revenue one. The first point for part A is 150. The second point of part A is 160. So to approximate, we use the differential R, which is the derivative of the derivative of the revenue multiplied by the change in X. So note that in the RX equals 20x minus epsilon y as a coefficient, one over 30 times x to the second. So then the R prime or the derivative will be 20 minus one over 30 multiplied by two x or 20 minus one over 15 times x. And the other term that we're gonna use, which is differential x, or delta x. Delta x is the difference of two x values. The last number is 160. The first number is 150. So the chain is 10 or increased by 10 rackets. So from information we have on the side, we're going to replace it by the differential r, the r prime, which is the quantity 20 minus 115 times x and multiply by the dx, which is the value 10. Evaluate at x 150. Always evaluate at the first point of the x. And then replace x with 150. We have 20 times one uh, minus 1 over 15 times 150. And then multiply by 10. As you see, 15 and 150 reduce to be 10. So 20 minus 10, that's 10. And then multiply by 10. The number is 100. So the differential revenue is 100. The unit is 100 of dollars. Or we can say 100 times 100 or $10,000 change in revenue. This is the approximate of the delta R or the For the second part is similar way. So we're gonna use the first point as 480 and the second point as 490. The R prime is the same, which is 20 minus one over 15 times X and the DX, which is the chain in X or X2 minus X1. In this case, the X2 is 490, X1 is 480. So the chain in X is 10 rackets. Differential R or the approximate of the change in revenue is R prime multiplied by differential X, the R prime 20 minus 100, uh, 1 over 15 multiplied by X times the DX, which is 10. Evaluate at the first x, which is 480 for part B. Replace x with the number 480. And then multiply by 10. We get 20 minus, and these two numbers reduce to be 30 
two. Okay. Fifteen goes to this way, five and three. Yes, thirty-two. So then we're gonna have twenty minus thirty-two and then multiply by ten. Twenty minus thirty-two is negative twelve. Multiply by ten, the result is negative one twenty. And for the second case here, the change in revenue is negative one twenty. It means the negative sign tells us about the loss in revenue and the unit in hundred of dollars. So that means you're gonna lose one hundred twenty and then two more zero or twelve thousand dollars loss in revenue. 